So hello Capricorn and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy and I'm going to be doing the reading for you today. Uh, this is a general message so take it as it resonates, leave it if it doesn't, don't force it to fit. Uh, you can always check out your other planetary aspects, you know, moon sign, rising sign, all that fun stuff. Um, I do use profanity and talk about adult things on the channel so you know if you have children around or just don't appreciate the language you can sign off now. Cap, this is going to be your June 2019 energy. All right. If you want the week by week breakdowns, you can find me and all my stuff in the description. I do um, private Zodiac extendeds on Facebook and they get my weekly lives and all that stuff. All right. If you want to be a part of that, you can reach out to me there. Otherwise, we're going to get started. Remember, energy is fluid. Gender is fluid. You know, roles can be reversed. Like, don't get all hung up on that stuff. Okay. Here we go. So I'm using my archetype cards. By Carolyn Miss, and that's going to give me an idea of where your energy is, Cap. You know, where you're kind of lingering between light and dark, um, or light and shadow attributes, where the universe is trying to keep you out of and what it's trying to push you towards. All right, so what is the energy for Capricorn for June? What energy is Capricorn lingering in and around? We got the networker. We got the networker. Now, cat. The shadow attribute is conveying information only for personal gain, spreading fear and falsehood. You know something personal about somebody and you're um, using it as blackmail. You're in blackmail, yeah. You're holding if you're holding something over somebody. Don't do it. Stay away from that. Stay away from that in June. Don't be in that position. Because I promise you, you back somebody into a corner, you don't realize what the hell you're doing and what that person's willing to do to get out of the corner, that might blow back in your face real good. So watch, you know, um, don't be going around telling other people's business for your own gain either. Like if you know you have something to gain from telling somebody something, it's not worth the shit storm in June. It's not worth the karma you're going to get for it. been fair warned. All right. Light attribute though, what the universe wants to push you towards is enhances unity through the sharing of information and gender, social awareness and empathy. You know, so Capricorn, if you want to share information that benefits the whole, like as a group that benefits the whole, that's one thing, you know, but doing it on the low, being sneaky in the background kind of thing, it's like, there's better ways, like there's just better ways to go about things. You know, if the information you're sharing is going to bring everybody closer together, do that. But if the information you're sharing isn't going to benefit anybody except you, you know, it's kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? So... Be really considerate. I'm also getting this um, temptation to snoop. Like to snoop in someone's phone or snoop in their email or snoop through their mail. Like, you know, like kind of fingering through their mail. Like seeing who's writing them or what kind of bills they're getting. Like being being nosy, like I feel like Capricorn might be um, outright maybe looking for information to use later. It's very sneaky stuff. And it has a lot to do with the crown chakra with these colors. So it has to do with ego and pride. Like Capricorn, you might just want to walk away from something in June. You might just want to walk away from it trust because you can make friends or you can make it or you can make enemies you can make allies or you can make enemies 
And I think if you go about it the wrong way, you're going to end up making a lot of enemies. So do it the right way. Choose your words carefully. Know who you're talking to. Know what their, their goals are, their wants, their dreams are, because self-interest is not your friend in June. It's just not. Think about what's good for everybody in, in, in June. All right. So now we're going to get into our Chakra Insight Oracle cards. What is the focus from the universe in your healing, Capricorn? What is the focus from the universe in your healing for June? What does the universe want healed in your energy by the end of June? Your intuition. You gotta trust your insights. You gotta trust your awareness. Trust the guidance you're getting. You know, if you're if you're talking for personal gain or or you're consumed by self-interest, you're not really trusting your gut that the universe knows what it's doing. If you're out looking for ways to get it done, you're trying too hard. And if you're trying too hard, you're swimming upstream, which means it's not in flow with the universe and it's going to blow back in your face. Do not meddle. Do not get involved. Do not cry. Ignorance is bliss. Hindsight is 2020. You're sensing your intuition is on point. You don't need to get caught prying or snooping. It'll defeat the whole purpose of what you already know. And if you can put all of this madness to a stop and just watch it unfold before you, you will see why that was such a good choice. Trust. Know when to speak and when to just patiently be quiet. For the right time to say the right thing to the right person, that is good for everybody. Always think of the highest good of the whole and not just yourself. Because sometimes it's the team that pushes you forward. Sometimes it doesn't all bank on one person. All right, so this is my Sacred Rebel Oracle by Alana Fairchild. What additional guidance would the universe give you for June? Capricorn. What additional energy will be working on? What does the universe want me now? What you want wants you. What you want wants you. I think Libra got this card too. You got to trust Capricorn that what's meant for you is meant for you and it will always be yours and nothing can take it from you. There might be temporary blocks, there might be obstacles, there might be things in the way, but it's all temporary. What you want to achieve what you intuitively know is going on or what you're if you're waiting for something trust it's going to be okay don't get yourself all worked up don't let your mind you know spiral out of control with what ifs and and worst case scenarios like if you already know you already know you don't have to look for it it'll show up you won't be able to miss it this is a confirmation card Whatever you want, wants you to. If you want to be happy, happiness wants to find you. If you want peace, peace wants to find you. If you want abundance, abundance wants to find you. If you want karmic justice, karmic justice will find its way for you. Trust. You're aware of how this works. You're aware of how this works. What you want in your desire, you desire it for a reason. You desire it for a reason. All right?
follow your inner knowing. Do as you're guided. Don't question. Don't question why you feel guided to do certain things. Just do it. The universe will show you why. All right, and these are my Power of Love cards. These are, this is like my Remember deck, my Remember No Matter What deck. You know, if you want to get through June healing this, right, healing this, because if this is what you're healing, when you go against your gut, it's going to show real quick why you should have listened to your gut. All right, when these kinds of cards come up like this, you go against your gut, even for a split second, if something tells you to hold back and you do it anyway, I'm telling you, you're going to find out real quick why you should have listened to your gut. All right, what you want once you trust more. Trust more. Bite your tongue if you got to bite your tongue and speak up if you got to speak up and know when, you know, all right, know the difference between when. All right. What does Capricorn need to remember no matter what? Whoa. Go right out. Yeah, this is about the bigger picture. It's all about vision. Third eye. I mean, come on. Vision. That was 11 11. Come on, Cap. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving and just universe. Loving and just. Loving and just. If you work your ass off, Capricorn, and you deserve that fucking promotion, you can get it. You can get it. You know it. What you want wants you. You just keep performing. You just keep doing the best fucking job. You keep making suggestions that are good for everybody, not just yourself. You start thinking about the whole. You start thinking about the bigger picture, the long scheme of things. It fucking wants you. Keep the bigger picture in mind. Keep the bigger vision in mind. Everything is not falling apart. It is most definitely falling into place piece by piece. Brick by brick, the foundation is getting built. And before you know it, it's going to be solid. It's going to be worth building on. And you'll have that. Mm -hmm. So with that said... Capricorn, I hope that helps prepare you for June. I mean, because really, I think the biggest thing, I think the biggest thing is knowing when not to have foot and mouth syndrome come June. And I think trusting what you're sensing is going to be huge. Like if something doesn't feel right, if something's off, like you, you got to trust it. 99% is not a hundred. And the universe will take the time to show you why you needed to trust in a hundred and not 99 there's a difference between 100 and 99. One makes the cut, one doesn't. The universe will teach you. The universe will teach you how important it is to listen to yourself. <sighs> take your own advice. Capricorn, take your own advice. If you would give that sound solid advice to somebody else, make sure you are taking your own advice. And that wraps it up. So, if you want more from me, Capricorn, you want to see how all of these, you know, events start to unfold. Like I said, all of the stuff you need from me is right below. All right. Until next time, guys, love each other. And most importantly, love yourselves. Bye.